Just how does an Arctic dip in the water sound? Maybe going swimming today, probably not so great, but before you call me crazy, listen to what my friends Jennifer McMahon and Steve Hood have to say about the annual polar plunge that's happening, and it's happening for a great cause. So thanks for being here with us today. Tell us a little bit about, for people at home maybe who haven't heard of the polar plunge, or maybe they've heard it but don't know what it is, explain to us what it is and how it kind of helps. So here's the deal. There are 10,223 athletes for Special Olympics Kentucky mm -hmm. in 102 counties. The Louisville Polar Plunge is the largest single fundraiser for Special Olympics Kentucky across the state. Yeah. So this event next Saturday is geared up to raise $150,000 to support those 10,000 athletes and the 15 sports that they train and compete in all year long. Oh my gosh, and that's so important really to help them out with this. And they are actually taking a Polar plunge. Tell That's us a little right. bit about That's that. That's right. So you sign up to participate at LouisvillePlunge.com. It's a minimum $75 that you either donate or yourself or you get your friends and family to support you and make donations on your behalf. We'll be at Texas Roadhouse in Middletown next Saturday starting at 830. And uh, we'll have a backyard pool. It's 48 inches deep. Um, and we jump in groups of four. You'll get to take a nice Arctic dip, as you said. And we'd like to call it the chill of a lifetime. Oh okay. yeah, and you don't have to do it alone. We have some video up here. If you're scared to jump into that cold water by yourself, you can hold on to three other people. That's right. <laughs> Steve, tell us a little bit about how Texas Roadhouse, why they decided to get involved, you know, and what it's like to see this go on. Well, um, we've been supporting Special Olympics through a golf scramble for a few years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jennifer kind of came to us about uh, two years ago um, because we were running into some issues with um, the waterfront and flooding, obviously, as we can tell this week. So, um, you know, I know it costs the Special Olympics a lot of money to have to cancel that event and where it's at. Mm -hmm. um, so she was like, hey, you all have a great location, um, plenty of parking spaces, all that stuff. How would you like to host it? And, you know, we're, we're very community driven. So anything that we can do to help out our community, um, we, we definitely try to do that. So. And, I mean, who doesn't want to just grab a couple of those rolls of yeah. cinnamon butter oh after gosh. jumping into the pool? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> nice and warm. It, Cold water, yeah. then hot rolls. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to be more convinced that maybe I need to be taking this yeah. plunge. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and, Jennifer, can you kind of just tell us a little bit about you've seen the Special Olympics and how much joy they have when they can participate and really compete in these extremely fun games and not have to worry about the burden of finances. Exactly. So, um, like I said, we have 10,000 athletes that compete in 15 different sports throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And this fundraiser helps support those efforts. And one thing that I'd like your audience to understand is Special Olympics athletes are 50% more likely to be employed than people with intellectual disabilities who don't participate in our program. Mm -hmm. So these individuals learn confidence, dedication, you know, they learn how to be coachable and show up on time and all of the determination that's required to be a part of their community. And we'd like to think that the Louisville Polar Plunge helps them achieve those goals. $150,000, there's no doubt that it definitely does. Let's beat that goal <laughs> this year. And we want to make sure you have the details. Here they are on your screen now. The Polar Plunge is next Saturday. Mark those calendars, the 22nd at the Texas Roadhouse in Middletown. The plunge will start at 930 Remember that family-friendly costumes can be worn with a mask as well. We'll put all that information on WLKY.com. And thank you guys so much for coming in with us this morning. It's an amazing event that you all put on every year.